Hello all, welcome to Tech Chapter. In this video, we are going to see what is a Google Cloud Console. So in previous video, we already seen what is a Google Cloud, what is Cloud Computing and a basic introduction of a Google Cloud. Now in this video, we'll start with the Google Cloud Console. We'll see how we can navigate to the different part or different sections and services of a Google Cloud Console. So I quickly go to my browser and I'll type here console.com cloud.google.com and I'll enter so it will open your Google Cloud console for you and if you have already logged in with your Gmail ID it will just show you the project so this here you could see is my project name so you could see this is project name okay let me correct so this is my project ID so gcp -v -d, this is a project ID and this is a project name so you could see this will be name and this will be ID so currently I am having these two project. So these are showing in research. So for better view, I'll go to this all. So I'll first walk you through the resource hierarchy of a Google Cloud and how we can see that in a Google Cloud console. So in this bar, you always see your project. So this is your project, current project. So GCP project dev. If I go to another project, it will show here GCP project prod. So for now, I'll go to GCP project dev. Okay, and if you don't see your project in this recent list, you have to go to all, then you will see all the project here along with the hierarchical structure. Now always remember, if you're creating your personal account here, it will always show a no organization. Now what is organization? So organization is always a root node of your GCP resource hierarchy. It means first, it will be your organization then it will be your folder and then it will be your projects and inside project you will have a multiple services so this hierarchy is just like you can consider first it will be your country just take example of india and inside your country you will have multiple states like maharashtra punjab karnataka telangana so you will have a multiple state inside your country and inside multiple state, we will have a multiple cities. Okay, like Pune, Mumbai, Nagpur, or a Bangalore, Hyderabad. So inside your state, you will have multiple cities. So that is a hierarchical structure. So first country, then state, and then we will have multiple cities. So same way, if I go here, here it will be first organization, then folders and then project now if you are using your personal project there will not be any organization but if you are looking for your company gcp account you will see a different structure so let me show you that so here currently no organization it means a personal project but if i go to my techtrapture.com so just take example i am working in this company so suppose if you are working in xyz company it will just show the domain name of your company that is xyz.com if you are working in amazon it will show amazon.com but definitely amazon won't use a google cloud it will use aws cloud i'm just giving an example so now here you could see the first root node is techtapture.com so there will not be anything above this organization so this is your root node and inside this root node now you will have folder so first folder i have like admin then prod then rnd so you can name your folders according to your department or your requirements so i can support create one folder for finance one folder for hr and one folder for delivery so you can name it folder logically and inside your folder you will have multiple project so i just created it for a demo so inside this folder you will have a multiple project so if you are looking for your company gcp project you will see that kind of structure but if you are having access to only single project then you will see only one project inside your organization if you are access to a particular folder then you will see a folder so currently i am having access to complete this organization so i'll be able to see this complete a structure now suppose i'll just go to any of this so i will go to this rnd and i'll go to my first project so this will be a first page here so i'll just go to a dashboard so this is your navigation menu it is also called a hamburger menu so once you click on this hamburger or navigation menu 
you will see a different sections of your uh, google cloud services okay so first i will start with this cloud overview and i will go to dashboard okay so this is your uh, dashboard where you will see first a project info here you will see a project name so this project name can be anything you can edit your project name so this project number and project id you cannot edit or once it is created you cannot edit so while creating you have option to choose your project name and project id but once created you won't be able to change your project id and project number and it's always a unique so this is your project info then this is api and traffic it will show you so this is just all summary of your project it will show so what are the different resources you are using in your current project so it will show here so currently it is not showing anything here so suppose i will go to my another project so from recent instead of this organization i will go to no organization and i will go to dev now you will see some graphs here okay so in compute because currently i am having a virtual machine so it will show the ship utilization of my virtual machine so you could see it's around 80 percent it was reaching then it will show a billing here how much money you have to pay for this month so currently i am using a free trial account so it is showing a zero then the resources you can directly go from here to any of this resource so it's just a summary of your project it will show here and you will see a google platform status so if any outage is going on or any issue is going on with a google cloud platform it will show here so currently it is showing yellow it means some issue is going on and you could see the issue is with a cloud firestore so you can directly go this status dashboard openly and it will show you the health check of all the services for all the region okay so currently you could see it's showing green and currently we saw on dashboard that issue is for firestore so it's just scroll down and see okay so firestore you could see this is a not a completely green so we'll see what is a meaning of this i symbol so i'll just scroll up and you could see the service information so it is not available and showing some service information so here it already show incorrect enterprise high scale latency matrix in the cloud file so there is some issue going on that's why the sales status is showing as a yellow if there is no issue and everything is working fine it will show completely a green so that is about a main dashboard now how to navigate to the different services so again you can go to the hamburg menu and from here you can scroll down so you will see the pin project at the top and you could see the more products so here you can go to market fix you can go to api and services support iam so any service you want just scroll down and you can suppose in iam and admin service you will see different different services identity driver proxy roles resource management create project access inventory these all services are available in iam admin so same way in security you will have different services like asset inventory dlp api web security scanner so you can navigate from here suppose if you are not finding any of these services like i have to find a storage bucket so i can simply type in this search product so i will type storage and it will take me to the cloud storage so you can directly type from here okay so you will get your storage bucket so from here you can navigate to the different services to use any of these services you have to first enable api for that services so let me show example here so if i go to vm vm instance so it is showing two vms are already created and i didn't need to enable api now because it's already enabled but suppose i'm going to any new project so what i'll do i'll go to a completely new project i'll just go to any of this project and i'll try to see a compute okay so it asked me to enable api so without enabling api you cannot use any of these google cloud services so this only enabling api will not cost you anything it just 
you have to enable it for using that particular service and once you start using and creating resources then you have to pay for that service and if you are using free trial account then you can pay or you don't need to pay till that credit and you have to only pay which is crossing this 300 credit so this way you can use your uh, google cloud console now i will just navigate you to the some basic services or basic operations so in your google cloud console suppose if you want to see what are the different users having access to this cloud project you can go to this iam and admin and you can go to iam so here you could see all the different users who is having access to your a google cloud project or this current project okay so here you will see all different service accounts so these are the service account and we'll see the users also so you could see this test user gmail.com is owner of this project again this is my one email id which is editor of this project and this is again my email id which is also a owner of this project and these all are a service account so suppose if you want to give access to anyone in this project you can simply click on grant access you can give mail id and you can select the role which role you want to give so simply in this way you can give access to anyone and if you want to remove access to anyone you can simply click on this i'll just remove this access so instead of editor i just want to give access as a viewer and i will save it so it will just change access from editor to viewer so this is a basic uh, iam operation we can do in a cloud console iam and admin in service account we can create a service account so we can simply click on a create service account and we can create a service account we'll just fill the details so suppose i will give the name of a service account as an app and then i'll click on continue and done so it will create a service account for me and one more thing so here you could see this bell icon for notification here you will see what all operation you are doing and it will show only for you so i'll go on notification so it will show you so one hour ago what i did i just disabled one service that is composer api then i enabled one service that is a bigtable api i enabled one service that dlp api i deleted one vm instance fighters echo so it will show these operations which are successful or a failed so it will show based on this event and here you will activate your cloud shell so this is nothing but a terminal so whatever you are doing on your cloud console the same thing you can do using a cloud shell so suppose if you are creating any virtual machine you can do same operation using a cloud shell using a gcloud command so this is a terminal so you can use it for your scripting or even if you want to perform your operation more quickly and if you have enough hands on you can use a cloud shell as well so you can do all the operation which you are doing in a cloud console almost all operation you can do using the cloud shell as well so that's it for overview of your cloud console let me know if you have any questions regarding the introduction of a google cloud or a cloud console and let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer you that so thank you thank you for watching this video